So you're in the GED 144 club, you've missed passing a test by a point or two, what can you do? Well, first good news is that the GED is a low stakes test, meaning you can test again soon, but before you do, brush up on one of these quick score boosts. So for math, I've got two. First one's identifying functions. You need to be able to tell whether a graph, a table, a set of points is a function or isn't a function. Second one is comparing unit rates looks hard actually simple and very commonly on the test for science two for that as well first one is practice identifying independent versus dependent variables in a science experiment so you should be able to know those two words and how to figure out what they are simple probability that's another one the percent or the proportion the likelihood that something happens is often paired with punnett squares but you'll see that on science as far as social studies is concerned, social studies and language arts can take a while to build because they're mostly reading comprehension, but that doesn't mean we don't have some quick score boost. For social studies, it's pictures. So take a look, make sure you're good at charts and graphs, but beyond that, practice interpreting political cartoons. You guys tend to struggle there. And some simple map reading skills. No north, south, east, west. No some basic states, east coast, west coast, that kind of a thing. And then for language arts, finally, yeah, it's mostly reading. It really is. But there is something, and that's analyzing the strength of an argument. That's one skill that the stronger you can get at it, you could get a lot of points. It's all over the multiple choice questions, and it's the foundational skill for the essay. All right, you guys. I hope this helps everybody out there pass their tests. Happy learning.